slow offensive start for Celtics Crossover Gaming there in that game too, but they were to pick it up when we moved over towards our second half. For Cavs Legion GC, it was pretty much steady the entire way until that fourth quarter, and it is going to be Cavs Legion GC starting off here with the ball. One final game to see who represents the East, and Slaughter gets us started off with a big slam. Hey, my fault, Reap. I wasn't even, like, paying attention trying to go class. Reap told me to speed up when I was going back and forth with the ball. I can't speed up. I just, what? I wasn't focused on it. Also, I want to know in the chat, who do you guys got? You got Celtics crossover. You got Cavs Legion. Let me know in the Twitch and the YouTube chat. I'd love to know who you guys have winning this one. A huge, huge game three of our Eastern Conference Finals. And if I go a little too fast, and it goes left, oh, it's definitely hitting somebody behind. <laughs> Let's say got DJ Two Cold switched into him. Here comes Cole with the jab set. Look at that. Three players getting ready to sell out. Crazy thing is about that too with the three players dropping. He had plenty of time if he wanted to try to kick that one out. I think that's why the foul came in. And the one thing I'll say that I'm starting to see that might be possible. When you don't straight on the slip, running backwards towards it might actually give you a better skill in a mission with how difficult it is. Oh, Tazo. With all the confidence he, in the world to shoot that. He's off. a new man. Play he's off. a new man. This play is fantastic. Off. You either rise to the occasion <laughs> or you fall. Tazo is rising. This is everything we've been asking for for years. I love it. Antoine gets an open look and he'll make his first three. The trend has been for every single game so far, Antoine will get five points. He'll hold on to five points for a while, then he'll add something in going down the stretch. See if that's a little bit of the same here for Cleveland. X Factor Harris. Who? Antoine. Oh, yeah. He's the X Factor of all, of all X Factors for the whole playoffs. <laughs> no way. Grizzy misses. Colt gets the offensive rebound. Lecce lines up a shot of stepping from the hash, high arcing and off. They're on the backside. It was early. Killy, the one who's been leading the charge. That's going to count. So 6 30. And it whistled for a foul. The dunk went through. Wow. I believe it is going yeah. to be. Yeah. It is. Okay. Yeah. It's, a, it's a person. That was just so slow. <laughs> it's you different, but... It? Yeah. It was a very slow and one. Yeah, but, but it was... A, <laughs> An unorthodox and one. <laughs> yeah, that was a complicated and one. <laughs> but yeah, it was a personal one. Like, when you commit an off-ball foul, when it's, like, close to a bucket, that's why when they, like, shoot threes and the threes are already gone up, it counts. Oh, that I knew. I just didn't realize that the bucket counted. I thought oh, it was a yeah, foul yeah, on yeah. somebody else. It was weird. It was. It, it, it was. That he was ran so him over. Odd. <laughs> yeah, he ran him over because... TB wasn't the one who hit the layup. Usually, well, that's the thing. Usually, when they make those calls, the play like stops immediately, but not that time. Well, no foul whistle there that time. Cole Great rebound. I held his breath there for a moment. As they will foul Lecce that's out there in two. transition. Shots of Mel East out there in the chat. Celtics crossover gaming OG. Mel. Mel East. Yo, pillow sore. Something I heard <laughs> outside of that. Stop talking. Stop talking. Shut <laughs> up. Mel was one of my first favorite players, man. He was great for social media back in season two. They go down to Colt, speaking of being good up there for social media. I'm sure we'll have a lot more clips that's going to be posted to Colt here by the end of the night. One point lead here for Cavs Legion GC approaching the halfway point here in the first quarter. Legacy game. Legacy game. Antoine takes the three. Oh, Colt sells out there great. from the corner. That's a great sellout. That's and 6.30, we're we'll get over to Lecce. He takes the catch and shoot shot. He can't make it. Oh, he's missing. Yeah, that's back-to-back -back misses from behind the arc. Antoine tries to get one of his own there as well. He cannot. But the offensive rebound battle has been insane in this series. As much as I'm not mad at that shot, I feel like get that scooper to get some take. Yep. Killy will take the shot. Can Colt get there for the contest? Yeah, off the reach. Dude, slaughter, to let's slaughter with another offensive rebound. There's a steal from Tejo. No, it's slapped away. Picked up by Antoine. How did he not catch that? Oh, and there's it. the slow steal. Down. This time slow coming down. from Lecce. Follow the line. <laughs> <laughs> like, slow down there. Like, like off these resets, Jeez. I've seen him have a couple flimsy turnovers of not going to almost, like, smother the other player who has the actual ball for a proper reset. Well, we still have 2.50 to go like, here, and there's already been 14 fouls for Cavs Legion GC. 
6.30 with the mismatch. Gets it over to Tezo. He takes a three from the right side. Hit one from the left. Now hit one from the right. Antoine yes. has to get out. Antoine has to get out, and that right wing has to shift, and Antoine has to go right home. You know how happy oh, I am right when wing, I see sorry. guys who I've criticized for years make huge improvements on their game. I love it. It makes me so happy. Oh, oh my goodness. DJ Too Cold, those pocket Man. shots. He has been taking pocket, those with confidence. Pocket, bucket, getters. Like, what? How that? Just so quickly, Release. doesn't think twice. Release, thank you. 11 to 10, 6.30, we're going on the court. Oh! First pass over to Tezo, won't take it this time. 6.30 gets brought out there, Chrissy from under the top of the arc. And he that got one, he got robbed. no good. Oh, Killy on the other side, he's open, he greens. Hey, hey, DJ got robbed, robbed. He was on that slip so crazy, but lanes are just so difficult, so troubling. Colt will get it, and this time goes up with it. I like the adjustment that Colt was making. He was going down there trying to make a lot of those passes because so many players were dropping. I think that's when it came off that intentional foul. But now he's just like, okay, well, let's just get some buckets. Yeah. Half a second too late of a reach by DJ. They try to set the off ball here for Killy on the right side. Now they'll go overload Antoine. Positioned up top, DJ on the left. TB in the Hold corner. That. It's down here with Slaughter. He gets bumped around. Out there with Antoine. Five seconds on the shot clock remain. He gets it to the mid-range area. Colt sells out. Slaughter gets it. DJ too cold with a clean look. It's no good for him. Can make the open pocket shot, but misses the wide open. Looks like he, was, he felt a little rush taking that shot with the shot clock winding down. He's good. Cole bumped around, there goes the jab step, and somebody from the Celtics does end up calling timeout. This is the real advantage that the Celtics have is the Lecce versus Antoine battle, but because the Cavs play such great team defense, and that includes Antoine off the corner and also starting breaks, it's just a tough team to beat. Nice oh, block. What a block coming out there from Slaughter. Chrissy almost got it. Humbled around and ended up falling right to Antoine's hands. And the Celtics will foul. That is going to be the one to give. Great foul. That left corner three looked like it was there. Killy will get it. They go uh, up to uh -oh. Antoine. Player reaches out of the play. Antoine will stop and pop there for the three. And it's another green there for him. That's a risky, very risky, overly, it just overzealous still attempt by 630 that led to a free three. Waiting to see when Lecce can start to get it going. But I mean, all it takes for a player of his caliber is one green, and that'll be it. Colt double clutches there, draws the foul. Look what that foul was on. It's one. A little bit. I'm talking oh, about, he, that's the one thing I'll say right now. He's not watching it. He is dropping on that big like he is a big when he's a point guard. That's the one thing I'll say. When he was that shooting guard, he was one of our better defenders okay. at at shooting guard, he's shown the same thing at point guard with the smallest things like that don't pop up on the statue. He's had several pitches, several times he shrinks the, the court that actually makes Leche or 6.30 think, which is huge. It's one of the best defensive guards, I'd argue, ever. Does a lot. Three-point game. Shot clock is off. By the way, we got to give a special shout-out to Raptors Uprising GC. They have a huge event going on tonight in Toronto. Everybody's currently watching the conference finals. Shout out to the six. Oh, that's fire. Great. Like over seven uh -oh. and confirmed people for it. Custom shirts there too that look dope. My point, Chrissy, right, right yeah. side. Shot there to tie the game at 17. And Celtics crossover gaming's energy erupts. I caught it. Caught it once he went middle of the court. Like, we just don't know the small nuances of what a team will look for and like right there dude like i'm i'm seeing it. like how do you not see the right wing 17 17 let's check out that replay coming in from Krizzy. his first made shot of the game now one of three from the field to check out the fun angle here tezo got out there Krizzy gets the steal off the tip and then off the run out it's lecce manipulating the defense sucks in the double team and we are tied heading into the second quarter. A great open to this game three. A spot in the NBA 2K League Finals on the line. Up at 17 apiece, series tied, score tied. Man, these two teams so evenly matched. And a chance to take the lead here if you're Celtics crossover game. He's starting the ball off here in the second. They go to 6.30, nice behind the pack move. DJ Tukoldo had the telegraph read all over that. 
And Kelly thought about the shot. So many fouls of flicker being utilized here in this one. I think so far, a total of nine fouls already in this game. Can't take them with you. Might as well use them. A little shocked that wasn't a shooting foul, but again, on the pick and roll, you have to stay what side you're on, especially if you're playing sides. Right there, he just got built up by his back end. You have to play your side. Finals tomorrow, Green Chewits will be at 3 p.m. Eastern time, live here on Twitch and YouTube, and also on the NBA app. Check out that For You feed. Shout out to the NBA for giving us some love. Appreciate it. Nice shot there by Killy to give Cavs Legion GC that two-point lead. Jazz, things get real intense here. It's quiet down a lot more. Yeah, it has quieted down a lot more, but I want to talk about this Celtics team and how they are contenders. And one thing that Coach Rico told me was that the director is a great supporter, and they held a team meeting after the tip-off. They set a plan to get everyone on track, and they laid everything on the table, and ever since, they're right where they want to be. Yeah, we, we Harris touched upon it at the culture right now in Boston even just for basketball has been so good WNBA level NBA G League now here in the 2k league They not like us. Oh, that's a dog move Kelly. <laughs> that's a dog move Kelly 10 points now for Kelly after that made three that extends the lead to five here for Cavs Legion GC Next illegal screen, Harris, I need you to give it the same re reaction you give off charges. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll give you one. I'll give you one. Because that's what I played in my head. Once I'm like, that's why I started doing this. <laughs> well, fake. Slow methodical right here, right now, but killy has got the hot hand here for Cavs Legion GC. Trying to make it another one. No. It's okay. Get on a solo hot streak there for Killy and off that miss. Oof. Celtics crossover game, he's able to capitalize. Yeah, shout out to Jim Ferris, their managing director, who has who has stuck by this team through it all. Trades, drafts, everything. Him and Rico have really been the brain trust behind the Celtics finally breaking out this year, making playoffs in both modes. Both there since season one. Mm -hmm. I remember trying to trade for him. I should have went. <laughs> I'll have been in two guards. We're bad. No, hey, there's nothing like, nothing like being a Celtic, man. Oh, nothing man. quite like it. What? Hey, hey, friends, want to be quiet, bro. Yeah. I'm about to. 6.30 will go down to Colt. There was just a stop yes, on the other yeah. side there by Slaughter. Colt says, <laughs> let me show you how to do it. One point lead now back here to Celtics crossover gaming. But with eight points, four rebounds. It's like he moved a little too much. He got there. He played defense, but he just moved up the top, top. I think he... Behind him back. Antoine with a lot of space for another three. He's waking up, man. He's been great so far here. Really been a consistent score for this Cavs team who are not getting a lot of points in the paint so far in this game. A lot of it coming from the perimeter, coming from the guards, which we have not seen so far in this playoff. Yeah, we've been waiting for Antoine Achille to piece together a performance. Now a combined 19 points. Kelly with 10 of those. Oh, Green Chewett says that he's Irish. 8 p.m. for me tomorrow. Nice, man. Shout out to the international fans of the NBA 2K League. This is really, this can be a legacy game for him. Oh, absolutely. Legacy game for him. Bottom back's coming. Out and Slaughter bumped out of bounds again. Celtics crossover game will get the ball back. See, that's why right there, I'm telling you, we got to kind of steal. Steal from CB13 and use that overload set to get out of the corner if they're not giving you the corner. Starting to get real Eastern Conference like in this game. Hammer! That 6.30 cut from the right side has given them so many great points since the second half of game two. Gotten them a couple of and one. It's been a constant for Lecce also to build up takeover. Been a great strategy for Celtics crossover to try to get him going just on easy cuts. But this is my only thing though. When the ball's that far away from your side, you should not be giving up a cut. You have no reason to be up because you, you aren't pinching. The ball's nowhere near you. So if you aren't pinching and it's nowhere near you, how about you getting beat back door? When that's something they resort to, when Leche's not scoring, which right now is he scoring? No. Not yet. So play the cut. They're up by two, maybe up by three. Leche still has zero points, only two shot attempts. He has the, the lowest amount of shot attempts on the team. 6.30, Tezo both have three, Krizzy has four, Colt has five. Colt was just standing up, I don't know if he was going like, <laughs> No, no, no. Watching Yo, this game no. at the North Pole with Santa and the Elves, can we get a shout out? Yeah, there you go. Shout out, shout out to the Poles, man. Getting it done. 
It's your offseason, man. I don't know why you're still in the North Pole, man. Go for vacation. Like, Get some sunnier saying, areas. Who's saying yo, Dirk? Like, yo, yo. yo. Yeah. Because they couldn't hear anything. I mean, that's... They, they're not talking either. Isn't it in the movie Elf when Christmas is done, they immediately start making the toys over again? It's like, now what do we do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was bad. I know, but I, I was trying to look for it. Look oh, he missed. Oh, wow. She says, I'm right here as she's behind two people in my vision. 27 <laughs> 27. Surprised that the 630 missed that free throw. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, ha 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 ha. Yap it up. Yap, yap, yap. It's a cool, like, nine years ago. But nine. <laughs> I was going to say, some was, things don't leave you. Like a decade ago, man. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, that's crazy, too, because that game, he had like 32. He had a monster, man. Oh, what a pass. It's oh, all love at the end of the day. It's Tezo. Drills another shot from behind the arc. Tezo, a perfect three of three. Look at this. Look at the shooting from Tezo, man. What's well, been crazy, because you know, like, when some guys are positioned in the half court, like, they can only shoot from the left corner. They can never, like, switch things around and shoot from the right or shoot from anywhere around the arc. tezo has been doing it from the left. He's hit two from the right there yeah. as well. Oh, that, my. I'm, oh, hit another one. Dude. Oh, my. Oh my. Tezo. Make it rain. I remember back in season five, people would leave him open. They would just leave him butt open, wait for him to miss. Now he, this man, is turning into a menace from the corner. They did that this year. Oh, that's fair. They, they did do that literally. this year. <laughs> the man from New York that JT paid me is a saying is from St. Louis. It's because I thought you said Tatum. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> Him and Colt, the longest oh tenure players my. on this team, both drafted uh -oh. back in uh -oh. season three. Look at that. The defense holding on for the entire 24 there. It's a big possession for Boston. Lecce with the takeover. Two players go up high, 630 with an ill-advised catch. Tezo will get it back to 630. Brings it out to the three-point line, won't take the shot. Oh, he wants it. Lecce trying to cook up. They go down to Colt. He'll pass fake it. There's the standing dunk as well from Big Colt. That's a huge offensive possession for the Celtics. You've gotten a couple stops in a row. Now you've gotten a couple buckets in a row. All the momentum is in your favor. This is how the Cavs usually beat these teams. Why just consistent scoring and stops. The Celtics have flipped the script on him. Great show by Lecce. Let's stop that killing three. Under 10 seconds here to work with Chrissy bounces this one back into the hands of Killy. Trying to go one on one here with the power forward, the crossover move. DJ too cold there on the flare up. Has to put something oh, up. Slaughter Slaughter's again. there for the offensive board. By the way, Lecce with takeover, zero points, nine assists. He's cooking. Man. Everything that he has had to build up to that has just been straight from the assist call. I said it in game two. Once he gets that badge, man, he looks to play make. It's it's a special, special mindset that he has. Killy gets some space in front, 630. I don't think he get there for a contest. They did get it to open. Lecce now in transition, has the takeover. It'd be wise for Celtics crossover game to slow things down here, and they will. Five seconds remain. Lecce, an open three! The Milkman strikes again! What a run to close the first half for Boston. Up Antoine, to double can digits. he respond? He cannot. The front of the rim, the back of the rim, it pops out. All momentum at the end of the first half is going to Boston. The Celtics offense is humming. A near 40-point half for Boston. Right. Welcome back to Game 3 of the Eastern Conference Finals here in District E in our nation's capital. One half of basketball away. Who will join the Warriors in the Finals? Let's find out. Boston up by 11. A 6.30 knocks down a three and makes it 14. All signs right now currently pointing to Celtics crossover gaming to be able to get the job done, but it's still a whole second half to go with here. JT, what do you think the adjustment has to be here for Cavs Legion GC? Because not only are Boston playing some of the best defense that we've seen here tonight, their offense is now starting to flow. They got to find a way to do what they've done all week. I feel like their front court right now on the offensive side is missing from three through to five. If they don't find a way to implement them like they've been doing all week, this game will stay ugly. But that's been the Celtics' defensive adjustment this game. They're, they're, they're staying home, and they're saying, you know what, Antoine Killy, beat us. I mean, they're staying home. They have, they have not dropped off of the corners once this game. On, doesn't matter the drive. Doesn't matter how open they are in the mid-range. They have not moved off the corners. Oh, Lecce takes this shot, fading away. I would never like that shot. 
He can hit it a million times. I will never like it. He's like the only guy in the league who even tries it. Like, like I, I, I just He's got can't. that dog in him. He even <laughs> has 630 trying it. I've yeah, seen him shoot it multiple times. <laughs> he, shot, he shot two of those. 630 shot two of those shots falling away like deep when he was on that huge shooting slump in game two. Was able to turn it around afterwards, though. He'll go down a Colt, and he just goes straight up with it. Yeah, it, it's just a tough shot. Like, like I'm not saying he can't hit it. I've seen him hit it. But it's just a really tough shot to consistently hit. Cavs Legion got a long way to go. But again, got to stay disciplined. Can't start playing out of body. Just got to stick to your game plan, run your offense, and get some good looks. Not like that. <laughs> yeah. They've had ev almost every game, 80% of their games this playoffs, every front court player for them has been in double digits. Oh, what a steal from Lecce. Bounce pass. They fight so hard to get a steal. Then they get it right back on the other side. Killy switched here onto Lecce. Antoine started to shade there. Tazo takes his all. Oh, dude, Tazo. Legacy game. You got to give him the game what? ball. You got to give him the game ball. I'll give him the Wilson basketball right now. He can just have it. You, you, you might not be here tomorrow if you do that. <laughs> <laughs> he is playing like a man possessed here right now. Had the most success over there on the right corner. But if you notice this, he is getting so many threes on the right corner. But he sets himself up on the left every single time down the floor. They're just running a lot of different looks just to try to get this Cavs Legion defense in rotation. Get some open looks. And then he got the big man Colt. Just been the consistent tempo setter. 16 points, 18 boards for Colt. He's eating. It's just, it's just about that time. It's about that time. It, it's small plays that you need to keep momentum like that, that fast break. You throw a bounce pass there, Leche steals nothing. 48 to 31, getting out of hand here in the third quarter. See, they're just staying home. Look how tight the corners are on the on shift day and on Shot. DJ Too Cold. Nothing well, DJ there. gets Just rejected there. there by Colt. That's a They're on the Killy. swing down to the paint. Now they got him thinking. Killy was so open. Tight. That was a tight the only time I even heard our team talk was 27-25 off that 6-30 and 1. It's just got to... I mean, this front court has done their job they in have. this playoffs. They brought them really far. This was the game the backcourt had to have a legacy series. They aren't stepping on either. There's rotating, playing tight in the corners. Jay's literally just been standing in the corner with his hands up for the entire half. That's the thing, too. Like Antoine's getting down there into the paint. Like, what are you going to do when the center is the one that's standing right there breathing down your neck? But there's so much time left. It's so much time left. Game's not over. Game's not over. Game ain't over. But they just have to start being assertive. Now, I also feel like one of the biggest issues with this, with the guards, like, being forced to win the game, where's the plays? Where's the play calling? Look over like, to Krizzy. Back of the oh, oh, my body. goodness. Colt sends DJ to the floor. Hey, he just got hit by life. <laughs> 6.30. The line drive shot. Krizzy will give them another chance at this one. It's been a sleeper guy on the offensive board throughout this series. Good call out. Lecce, not a Tezo, surely not. This time, his first miss coming from behind the arc. They finally got some coverage out on him. Just got that 17% in there. He is now five for six. That is how good he has been shooting the ball there from the corner. These last seven and a half minutes, I need to see some type of play caller from Cavs Legion some type of play calling. It just seems like they're living with simplistic pick and roll offense. Oh man, what a block. Cavs Legion GC want to run. Crap. It's game. slow to get back. They have to go over there with the intentional foul. This game is I, not I, over yet. I, I say that too, that it is not over yet. If Lecce starts to turn it on, it, it'll be done. He is three points. This is the most uncharacteristic performance that we might have seen from him in quite some time. Well, in fairness, he hasn't had to score. Colt has been fantastic. Tezo's been money out of the corner. 630's had a couple of nice cuts to the rim. They haven't needed him to score. That's a shot. One minute to go in the third. Chrissy and Colt both on the inside. Doesn't even matter there for Slaughter. He goes up on both of them. If the Cavs can get a stop here and cut this lead to single digits before the fourth quarter, they have a real chance of coming back and winning this game. Lecce steps into a three there from the half. Just what the doctor ordered again. Whoops. Just kidding. That's where it's like when you have Antoine in that corner, he usually steps. But 
53 to 38. Third quarter almost coming to a close. There'll be one quarter to decide the rest of it. Killy had the shot, won't take it. Nice pass there to TB. He misses the open three. Oh, I'll be honest. Miss. BG, ball game. So. Ball game. Ball game. Biggest miss of the game. Let's we'll go to Colt. And a nice switcheroo there in the air. Biggest miss of the game. Biggest miss of the game. That was their last chance. Their last chance. Antoine will go over to Killy. I think it's a three second differential. What a move. The clock. Nice move there from Killy. Oh. A nice opening. Good shot there from Killy. That's exactly what they need. Now 16 points here in the game. That behind the back is pretty. It's just so funny because it's like that's the move that's always coming. And it always, they always cut back to the corner. Every, with the same Jamal Murray behind yeah. the back. Like. <laughs> It always looks cool too. But. Oh, Lecce from the Google Pixel logo. Oh! Lecce with the 31 footer, and they'll get the ball right back. 31 footer, so that was a 31 11 inches. We're calling that 32 feet. That might be one of the deepest threes he's hit all year. Wow. They get a shot here from the other side. It works! No way. No way. It works. No. It works. No, no, they did not replay just play production team replay. Yeah, we gotta get the replay. If I'm Celtics, I just stand up and there's it no worked. way that the corner three off the inbound worked. That is the first time all year. I gotta I gotta check the chat. Chat, there is no way that just happened. Hand down, man down. What a bucket. He said no doubt. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> they didn't even get the screen. Wow. They didn't even get the screen. The 12% green to put it to a 20-point game. I'm done. Why, why is Antoine well, win the game specifically and solely just them two? And they couldn't do it. But like I said, my biggest question mark is where's the play calling? It just seems like it's simplistic, just rap, pick and roll, like. But honestly, that that was their offense that got them here. I, I've been talking about this on on set all week that they they don't run complicated stuff. They run a lot of simple stuff. That, that's been their offense all year. He it's just, just been working. He just won a championship last year. Where's the plan B? Where's the plan B offense? Where's the play call? Oh well, well, well. If you what I said earlier about teams don't got plan Bs. <laughs> I'm with you. We'll be seeing you. It's going to have to be perfect the entire rest of the way. It's going to have to be a lot of threes going up for Cavs, Legion, GC. I mean, how many how many buckets do you give Celtics crossover game minutes before like, it's, it's done? Is it like three, four makes at that point? If they get to 70, the game's over. DJ Tukold will take a three. So back-to-back -back threes now coming from the front court. TB and DJ Tukold combining for those corner shots. Might be a little JoJo, a little too late. DJ Too Cold will found and flop immediately afterwards. His second. Lecce with the takeover. Colt has his. Tazel has his. Slaughter. Killy. They have theirs. Lots of it to go around here in this game three. Seven seconds here to go. 630. Back over to Lecce. The deep shot once more for Lecce. He was struggling to shoot, to score. Every shot that he was getting, he was bricking. But ever since he just made those first couple, done. Man. I can only be happy for Rico. I, I've literally known him since before the league. Been there since season one. Hasn't seen a 5v5 final since season one. Tip off, no. Two. Two. Season two tip off. Okay. That was I remember. I was actually sitting behind them. Rico was my first ever commentary duo when I was getting into oh, commentary NBA I, 2K on the MPBA streams. He, he posted Dang. that clip when I got the N1 dunk and he <laughs> called me Kobe because I always show up in the clutch. It's like one of my top viewed clips on my Twitch channel is, is a JT play and I was like, ah, full circle moment. <laughs> Can't be yeah, the did, yeah, Rico did call JT Kobe. <laughs> Bright lights always made me better. We're not scared of big moments. <laughs> Good days. Good times. 
will go over to 630. I think adding on to that story equally, speaking about Colt, everything that he's been through in this league since coming in here, being one of the OGs, he'll be playing in his first ever finals. 630. What's the furthest that 630 ended up making it in a playoffs? Was it? Probably With not. the Sixers, I believe they made the Eastern Conference, Conference yeah. final. Yes. Yeah. Did they? Season four, no. Season five, it was Wiz Knicks. Oh, so no. 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 So it has to be first round. Because didn't he lose the, the first round of the Pacers? So this is what's crazy. You look at the other side. You have a team who has won the championship. All those guys throughout their NBA 2 Philly career have, have been in the playoffs, been in finals. You have a team with zero experience playing on this stage. It'll take a little bit more to get there. So he has been in, in double figures, but it's just... What's crazy might be the most blocks that we've seen in the game all year so far. Three blocks for Slaughter in this one. He's fighting. He's going Lecce like working behind the Colt screen. He's forced to pick it up there. Good shade coming out for DJ. Two Colt TV. <laughs> a lot of jab steps coming out there for yes. Lecce. Always wait for the traveling violation off those. Lecce with the elbow jumper blocked there by DJ. Got to flick something up. They cannot. And there is the shot clock violation. I heard that too. What was that? I don't know. Saucy, what you do? Oh, they're closing up the tables. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, this is a big possession for Cleveland. Antoine's got his takeover. Cut it to 10. We got a chance. Favoring this right side heavy, uh, and it's another steal from Colt. I in the was corner. just wow. about to say, get away from Colt, and that happens. And Tazo, oh. his jumper has been silky smooth here in this game. This might be the best offensive game I've ever seen Tezo play. They, they really should just live with it. Colt will meet Slaughter and down low, gets the bump on him once more. Over to Antoine. Now over to TB. They got a good read on these Antoine same corner passes every single time. You know what this defense is showing me the Southern crossover game and came in, into this game through saying? We are who we thought they were, and we're not letting them get away with it. They literally just focused on making this backcourt win the game. You just said the whole famous quote, and then you totally changed the end. I had to because that's literally what you this is right. giving me. You just said I know let him, we quote. didn't let him off the hook. No, the, the late Daryl Green. I know the quote. I switched it on purpose because I'm saying they really just came in like those two are gonna have to beat us. <laughs> I know, I know what the quote is. I don't know. Come on spoke. now, come on now, come on now. I know the quote. Yes. It's a reason I started it. And then he just... <laughs> yeah, I changed that. I, I put a, a little JT spit on the look. Look at that spit. <laughs> you plagiarized. Yeah. Plagiarized. I like the original better. I do too, but it, it didn't fit. 68 to 53. The Celtics will call timeout. That'll be easy. GT. This is the. Second time that we're seeing them square off in a series. It was Celtics crossover game. He's sweeping Cavs Legion GC. That was in the turn bracket play. And then now here, it was pushed all the way to a game three. But it was your reverse sweep coming out from Celtics no crossover way. gaming here as Tezo Dude. does it one more time. Game ball. Give it to him. Game ball. This Give is, him the game ball. This is easily the best offensive game Tezo has ever had. Like, just when they needed him the most. Honestly, I think the Cavs game plan was to leave him open or at least a shade off of his side and he was money all game long. Finally, the longest tenured members on this team, Tezo and Colt, they deliver in the biggest games of their career and get them to the finals. Unbelievable. All them old Tezo like an extra 2,000. 22 points for Tezo. 22. Colin yeah. Killy, the park player, says he'll never win in 5v5. Friendly fire. Yeah, right. <laughs> Ouch. But on one side, when we talk about park players, stage guys, Krizzy, Tezo, those two will be heading into the 5v5 final. We'll get to see a rematch of what we just saw in the turn, which will be interesting because I remember game one in that turn finals, it was all Warriors gaming squad. Game two, it was all Warriors gaming squad, but then... I think it was in the second half, maybe in the fourth quarter. There was this crazy stretch that Celtics crossover game we went to. We went into a listen-in, and they were talking 
hella trash non-stop over and over again and it kind of like fueled the team to go on this run to make that game even closer but that is going to be our, our, our first best of five our only best of five that we have here in the 5v5 mode is going to be in our grand finals and for those at home that don't know how pivotal and how tremendous making the 5v5 finals is the 5v5 finals is worth the same amount if you were to win the slam the switch the tip off and the turn 180,000 minimum the total is 180,000 minimum. What a pivotal moment for an OG season one, original 17 team Celtics crossover game and franchise. Players dapping it up and there's still eight seconds to go here. So I hope somebody just inbounds and crosses it. Antoine will do everybody the favor of not trying to extend this one. And that is how it is. <laughs> okay, well, never mind defensive three. No way. <laughs> 630 Come on, man. You can't believe it. 30 games Somebody leave. sit down. Hit your free throw. Who is it? Hey, somebody, anybody. Hey, somebody's got to hit a free throw. I don't care who it is. Well, nobody is buying Oh, he one. hit it. The AI hit the free throw. Really? <laughs> yes. Yeah, because Killy, he didn't even get there yet. <laughs> Killy almost got there, but he didn't no get there way. yet. Now inbound the ball. Throw it. Uh, there you go. Killy comes with the assist. They inbound the ball. And that is how it officially will come to a close. Celtics crossover gaming will get the rematch that they have been eyeing since a couple weeks ago. They get to take on the defending champs in the NBA 2K League Finals.